I'd like to talk about live wedding painting, why it's cool and what it is. So live wedding painting is where you hire an artist at your wedding and they paint a scene, usually like the dance floor or the ceremony and then the couple can pick whichever like pose they want like do they want like the first kiss the first dance walking down the aisle something like that and the artist will paint it for them during the ceremony so it's like an entertainment service and also you get a product at the end so it's it's like all in one this can be for like art lovers or people who want to add a unique flair to their wedding day um i did it for my sister last month and it was like a great entertainment thing. I had a lot of fun as the painter. Um, a lot of people came up and I just like, I was just chatting while I was doing my job. It was pretty awesome. So uh, that's like the basics of what it is. I love to see people's eyes like light up when they see what you're doing and they just think it's like the coolest thing ever. It's definitely like a lot of pressure. You gotta be good with that as an artist, but yeah. Personally, it was a lot of fun for me, so that's why I'm gonna try and do it more often. Here's my journey of becoming a live wedding painter. I'm basically day one, so I say I'm a live wedding painter, and I've done one. I wanted to take you along my journey so you can struggle with me, sort of. Um, anyway, and mostly, I guess for myself, since I have like 10 subscribers, maybe 23 or something. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I did this one, not live. I did it off of a photo and I adore how it turned out. I'm writing a contract right now today and so it's just like a really slow, boring kind of day. Yeah, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I got my website up. I've done paintings for years and years, and I definitely feel pretty confident in my painting skills. Um, obviously, we gotta get the business and marketing skills going good. I wanna make this the best experience for my clients as possible. Unfortunately, I started typing and wrote out like an hour or an hour or a half hour worth of stuff for my contract and it didn't save. So I'm basically starting over. I always say things take 10 times as long as I think they are. That may be an exaggeration, but honestly, it really feels like at least three times as long as I calculate. I'm like, oh, this will take me one hour. And three hours later, I'm still working on it. So yeah, that's super annoying, but life. Also, oh my word. My keyboard isn't working. So I gotta use this, which is like way slower. I'm telling the truth. Seriously, taking way longer. Okay, well, as soon as I get my contract done, I'm gonna meet with a couple artist friends and we're gonna talk about art stuff. Actually, this pen is super, super helpful. I can just write and then it automatically transfers it to typing. So this is super life saving. More water, please. Uh, actually, let's call this YouTube video how to make everything take longer than it needs to be. <laughs> Woo! Okay, yes, I changed. I got, um, terms of conditions written out for this and I just need to do um, a little bit of touch up, a little bit of editing so it's all right and then we'll save that um, and I can obviously customize those for each client I get. I actually bought a contract from another live wedding painter so I could save the hassle and it's amazing.
Why not learn from experts? That's what I say. Okay, so hours later, I mostly finished my contract now. What I'm gonna do is finalize prices for my website and then upload um, my website, a little bit about me on a bunch of Facebook groups and then try and meet with some wedding venues and get my name out there to start marketing um, because people don't really know what I do yet. So that's my next step. Um, so the big thing is I am a watercolor artist and that is my first love and my first like medium I've ever worked with, mainly. I've worked with acrylic a little bit. Technically it's easier, people say it's easier, but I'm so used to watercolor that acrylic does not feel easier to me. It's kind of backwards, but the reason I'm switching from watercolor to acrylic for live painting is because you can cover mistakes easier with acrylic, so if I get like somebody's facial feature wrong, I can easily redo it and you can't tell. Um, with watercolor, you gotta be more careful. Like you can, you can still fix it. Like I'm not saying it's impossible because I've done it, but um, it's just a little more complicated. And then working with wetter paint, like watercolor is wetter, is gonna be a little more tricky. And then one more thing is, so with my watercolor paintings that I do in the studio, not live, um, I will do like a sketch first so I can make sure like everything's in proportion and then I work and I layer my layers on and honestly like sometimes it takes a really long time for each layer to dry and if you don't wait long enough the colors will get all muddy and it will look crap so just it's just not not ideal I would love to figure out a way so I've done plain air paintings um, with watercolor um, mountains and like desert scenes and those went well I loved it it was wonderful but I don't want to like experiment live at a wedding you know what I mean so yeah we'll see I'm starting out acrylic and if I get adventurous and decide figure out a way how to do watercolor live while adding people it would be harder to add people with the watercolors unless I used wash which I could do so anyways this is just me talking through it and um, I may do some experiments in the studio with watercolor to see how it is but all that to say is I'm doing acrylics and I have to practice acrylics because they don't come as naturally I did a couple acrylic paintings this week just to get used to the feeling and how they work so, I will definitely show some process videos of acrylics and maybe I'll do an acrylic and watercolor comparison video someday. But thank you guys um, for taking the time, listening to my rambles and I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this, how, for this journey and like this new business venture. If you liked this video, I'm gonna do more about wedding painting and more about painting in general so stay tuned and subscribe and like bye i'll see you in my next video